guys, welcome back to another episode of St. Pauli Rising. Now, and also, welcome to the first episode that you'll be seeing without any bloody lag in it. So enjoy, and that will be present in every single episode. No more lag. So the lag is gone, and let's get straight into today's episode. Um, there was three games this month before, obviously, the game we are playing today. Um, we've had a bit of a checkered month. Like, we had... We've got a couple of good... So like, we've got... Including the three games we played this month so far and our two next two games with four out of five at home important that we picked up some points in those games um yeah we started off at home to greater foot and to be honest massively happy with the performance um it might look like they we actually created like five clear-cut chances in this game and rightfully won three nil basically uh sobiek with two goals there and tom tribal with a really good long-range strike it was great to see he then had to go off injured but thankfully it wasn't too bad yarty also picked up a knock and again is going to be out for a, a little while i don't know if he's back yet i can't remember i think he picked up another knock actually but we did manage to win the game by three goals to nil, which was a big result because gruta remember we were in locked in battle with them when we went up to the bundesliga initially but it seems they are a little bit weaker this year to be fair to them so we were expected to win that. The next game was against Sandhausen, and I was a little bit disappointed, to be honest. I, I thought we were we were good. Like they, they kept a lot of the ball, and it probably should have been a draw. Like Sandhausen are a good side this year. They are top of the league at the moment, so it's no real big surprise that they actually did manage to get this. It's just their goal was irritating. It was one of those ones where there's like a big melee in the box, and I think it was uh, Rioas cleared it straight against Tony Lesnar and it went just bounces into the empty net because for some reason when you clear it and it hits them they don't seem to move like they it's it didn't exactly go into the net fast it just sort of rolled over the line but nobody make it's like it makes them freeze for some reason but yeah so that happened and we lost the game unfortunately but we had 82 minutes to correct it and we just couldn't get a goal but you know I still think we're doing all right then we went away from home to Hanover and I thought this was going to be a tough one it wasn't it was not a tough one like we had seven, I think, clear-cut chances in this game, which was crazy. And maybe we could have had even more goals, but we didn't. We only got four. I say only. It was brilliant. Rakowski put us in front early on, which was superb. And I thought, you know, Hanover away from home is a tough place to go. They were relegated with us last year, so it wasn't going to be easy. But in fact, it was very easy. When Yarty made it 2-0 on 60 minutes, things were nice and good. Then Antti Budimir, our old mate, was able to step up and pounce on a loose ball and thump 3-0 in. And then Michael Gerlitz with... Poor goalkeeping again, and one of those ones where, it, like, this time it wasn't the bullshit kind of goal. Like, the shot comes in, goalkeeper saves it, still on the ground, and Gurlitz was able to follow up. At least he was actually on the ground from making the save. He wasn't just standing there doing nothing. So I will let that one go. And obviously we scored a goal from it, so I'm not too bothered. But, you know, I wouldn't have been able to complain if that had happened to me. Um, so 4-0 away at Hamburg, uh, Hanover, not Hamburg. That would be quite something. Not a bad month. We kept two clean sheets. And we actually only conceded one goal in our last three games. So I think it's actually been decent. If you look at our defensive record over the last few games, excluding the away game at Kaiserslautern, which was a tough one, and obviously that blip at home to Sandhausen, you know, clean sheet against Hanover, clean sheet against Furt, clean sheet against Bielefeld, clean sheet against Heidenheim, uh, one goal conceded against Halle, which was annoying, but we did score six. Obviously had the Union Berlin here, but then there's a clean sheet against Kiel there. Clean sheets against Arlen and Braunschweig. We're actually quite good defensively. It's one of those things that I hadn't really occurred to me until now. Um, so this is where we sit in the league. We're currently fourth. Um, teams above us do have games in hand, though, so it is a little bit of a... Let's just see how many goals we've actually conceded this year. 14 goals conceded is not bad, considering how many goals we leaked last season and in the first season when we came up. Um, we're scoring quite a few as well, so doing all right. I'm pretty pleased with us. I think we just need to be a bit more consistent, which is the same in my Pompey save, but I just think this tactic could be the one for us. Um, Sandhaus not top, but they do have have played a game more. Kaiserstown and VFL Bochum are right in there too, but it is so tight up here. Like, the, all the way down to sort of like Arlen in 13th, a couple of wins could see them easily jump up into the the battle for promotion, really. Um, so, yeah, it, it's quite tight still. Kiel look absolutely done and dusted already this year. So we've got, hopefully, another game coming up against them, which we can bash some more goals past them, which is always good to see. Um, Sandhausen, to be fair, I'm very impressed with them. They were a struggling side when we played them in the league two years ago. So to see them doing this well is awesome. Um, we now come up against FSV. Now, remember, FSV were a, t a poor side as well. Um, they were looking... Well, actually, I'll tell you the reason they've slipped down the table. They were fifth at the end of last month. But they have slipped off the pace a little bit. A couple of poor results, plus they do have a game in hand as well. So if you look here, Dusseldorf, uh, Hanover have actually got two 
games more than some people, so they could slip right down if things go a bit wrong. Now, let's quickly jump into the squad, and we can see what's been happening in this month. We've got... That can't be right. That literally cannot be right. Marion Andre Kunza, nine goals. Um, he's a right back. I'm really confused. Senior squad. He's a right back that plays as a right back. He's not got nine goals. What? What? Comp Sorry, this is really strange. Unless he scored them in like friendlies or something. What the hell? Uh, I'm trying to remember where the bloody thing that shows you how attributes. No, it's not attributes. Is it? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Attributes. Well, you get to look at his attributes too. In the league. Um, guys, I think there's an, a glitch in the game here because he's a right back and he's not got nine goals in the league, obviously. So that's very confusing. Who is he being confused with? Sobiak has five. I'm very confused. It seems that Marian Andre Kunza has been credited with nine goals in the league for some weird reason and I cannot fathom why. Because look, he, he's not on here. That's really strange. There's a little bit of an error there. Anyway, so yeah, he's not our top goal scorer. Yarty is with six. As for assists, well, Mikowski has five, which is good to see. Man of the matches, again, not Kunza, because certainly he's not got nine man of the matches either. Um, I'm probably, am I missing something really glaring, or is he just like, is this just a glitch? Average pass rating, 86 for Tom Tribal. Not bad. Yellow cards, Nerig, of course. Only five. He's done all right. To be fair, so he has picked up a red though, so it's not all good. Uh, Bieran picked up a... When did he pick up a red? And why is it saying he started 19 games? Senior squad. This is really confusing. Right. Overall... Yeah, that's really weird. Hmm, strange. Um... Because there's no way in hell that Bieran has started 19 games for us. He's not even, he's our substitute goalkeeper. Anyway, yeah, so that is that. Um, average play, average rating, of course, is generic with, uh, wait, no, it's not what we're talking about. It is, wait, come on. Uh, it's not Kunza either. Uh, it's actually David Abraham, which is quite cool. Right, so onto the match preview screen. And let's, uh, just where they're playing 4 5 1. Okay, cool. That's actually quite suited to the way we play anyway. Yarty's picked up another injury in the last game, so we'll have to just quickly get him out of the team, see what that does for us. Um, it means Rakowski's going to play on the left, and he's decent in that role anyway. Kenyate, Ilsanka, because Tribal's a little bit. Hmm. His form's dipped. I don't know. I think he's been alright, but we, we can bring him off the bench. Uh, Gurlitz, Soviet, Kenyate. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry, but I'm starting Tom Tribal. Wait, no. Where should I? No, actually. No, no. Um. Actually, yeah, we'll put him in that defensive midfield role. He's a decent player. Ilsanka can come off the bench. There we go. I'm going to Halstenberg and Shona. Hopefully he won't do anything stupid today. We're at home, so I'm probably going to look for the overlap in this one because um, we need to get in there. Right, let's get this game going. Hopefully we can continue our little run and go on to, well, we could potentially go top of the league today. You know, if things go well, ooh, which they're not going to. Well, even if we win, I cannot see Kaiserslautern doing anything other than uh, winning against Kiel. They're going to thump them. They're going to thump them hard. Um, if they don't, that would be awesome for us, but I'm pretty certain they will do. So we can still go into second place, though, today, which would be pretty damn awesome. Um, it's because of the way the fixtures work in Germany. They're sort of spread out from sort of Friday all the way over till Monday. It's kind of cool. Uh, it means that like there's always a, a decent amount of focus on each of the matches. I think that actually kind of works quite well. It's like a whole weekend of football, uh, which on four-day weekends must be awesome. I don't know if they have those in Germany. I assume they do. Right, let's get going. Hopefully... We can put on a decent performance here. FSV are not a decent, not that great of a team, really. Um, it has to be said. Like, they had, they got relegated. And I think this year is their first season back up in the second tier. Um, yeah, because they were relegated in our first season when we were when we were promoted. I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, Shan, somebody get a tackle in. Huber. Um, Jordanov. Oh, they're getting pulled around a little bit. Is that? I thought it said Kachunga. Oh, oh. That very nearly didn't go in. I'm just going to close down less a little bit because they are starting to pull us around a little bit and we don't need that right now. And I didn't make that change early enough in some of the other games and it might have been why we got 
why it cost us against Sandhausen. That looked like it was very, very close to not going in. It sort of rolled along the line. It was a good player ball. Cross here, Krushka, Balch, lovely play actually, and Horshet, or Horshite, and Horshite. Um, yeah, that was well, definitely a goal. Nothing we can do about that, uh, apart from defend better. Hopefully, we can kick on a little bit. And, well, we've had a few, you know, we're pretty even. I've actually had, right, yeah. Horshite. Oh, don't let them score again. Come on, we've been, def been practising set-piece defending, which is good to see. Hopefully that means we're not going to suddenly concede loads from set-pieces, because that's what we've been working on in training. Oh, damn it! Well, good finish, really, I guess. Um, come on, guys. If Ballich there, um, which is a great name. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Um, thing is, we're playing all right. We're still looking the better side. Like, stats-wise, so I can't really change anything because we're playing well. Uh, it's just... Oh, hang on. Rakowski. Go on, 1-1. Yes! No, not 1-1. 2-1. Okay, that's given us plenty of time to get back into the game. Mark Rakowski. First clear-cut chance of the game. For us, first goal. We're still losing, but that's just the way these things are. This is terrible defending from Bonich. And, well, Rakowski, though... Still had the composure to finish this off, though, when the chance was presented to him. So, well done, Mark. Um, 70 minutes. Maybe we can get two more goals. Can we turn this around? That'd be quite a, a turnaround. But the fact is, we're playing better than them. So, we've just taken a knock. Hopefully, there's nothing too serious. Yep, we'll just close down. Edison Jordanoff. That's a cool name. Uh, sure, why not? Generally, I do listen to my assistant's instructions on those things. That's pretty much the only thing I take what he says for granted. Uh, because... A lot of the time, they're very, very wrong. But with things like that, you can normally take that advice quite seriously. Go on, Aram. Yes, Nerik. Right, go on. Just go to the byline or get to the touchline and whip a good ball in. And it, uh, it's cleared. But Kenyette? Sobiek! That looked onside. He must have been onside there. 2-2. Two, two. Well, well that, there you go. Two click-up chances, two goals, and balance is restored. But the fact is, though, we should be 2-0 up at least. Or maybe like 2-1 or something, because they had some decent chances. Point is, we're taking the chances when they come. Kenyatta with a great header down, and Sobiet with a powerful volley into the net. 2 2 here at the Milan Tour. Right. Let's keep on pushing, guys. We need to get the win here, and it'll be a great comeback if we can get it. But the, the fact that we've got level by half time is important. Kaiser Slaton are 2 0 up at Kiel. That's not really much of a surprise at all. Um, I think closing down a bit less has actually helped. It's stopped them from dragging us all over the pitch. Uh, the overlap thing's working. Sobiet has. Mm, He's not that injured, and maybe later on we'll bring on Budimir um, to give him a little run out here, especially if we go in front. Although we may need him. He's actually come up with some pretty important goals for us at times, so fair play to him. Our shot accuracy is really good today, and that's nice to see. Like, 11 shots, 8 of which have been on target. In some games, we'd have 1 or 2 on target out of that bunch. So it's nice to see that we're actually being a bit more accurate, although it seems to have just wailed off in the second half. We're having some shots, but they're not particularly accurate. Come on, guys. This is a this is a this is a winnable game. They seem to have stopped us from getting shots on target here. Uh, Budimir, I'm going to bring him on. Um, let's see. Let's bring on Rojas for Gunter, just because Gunter is booked and is not playing all that great. Uh, what else have we even got? I could bring on Brandy maybe in place of Gurlitz in a bit, perhaps. Ooh, there is a helicopter flying over my house at the moment. Bloody hell! Christ! Sorry, I just turned around. There's a fucking Chinook. I'm not joking. Like, the twin rotated helicopters just, like, flying over my back garden. That was really strange. Um, <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Um, I do live near, like, a, an airbase, so that kind of would explain it. But even so... Right, anyway, sorry. I'm getting massively distracted here by helicopters. Um, maybe they can land it in the middle of the pitch and disrupt the fixture. Let's see if we can... What can we do to make our shots more accurate? We're already on work ball into the box. I don't know, like... Oh, we've got a corner here, so maybe that'll be the thing. Is there something here that we can do that will... Not really. No, we've literally got everything... They're just just defending quite well, I'd say, I guess. Um, maybe this could be our chance. Rakowski with the corner. Whips it in. Nobody's there. But Dalba can maybe get the ball back to Rakowski as long as he stays on side. Come on, Dennis, take your time. Rakowski, maybe a first-time ball? No, nope. back to Dalba. We're going to keep the possession and try and work it. Nothing wrong with that. Rakowski, go on. Nope, long-range effort from Abraham, maybe? Get it to try ball? He's not on the pitch, is he? Kenyette? Surely not. Nope, all the way back to Rio. Ask. Don't lose the ball and get counted on, guys. You're taking a little bit too long over. Oh, Tribal is on the pitch. Nerik, out wide, go on, whip it in. Put him here! There we go! St. Pauli, three. Oh, 
FSV Frankfurt 2, and that's deserved. We've had all the good chances in this game have been ours, and I don't think we deserve to go 2-0 down, and it was great of us to actually hang on to the ball for as long as that in the end. Neri with a wonderful ball in, and there's Ante Budimir. Why the hell did he go with his foot? It was at face height. Don't care. That could have gone off of his... Could have gone... Could have... Pff, I can't even speak now. Could have gone on off of his... I literally cannot speak properly. Um... Could have gone in off of his arse and I wouldn't have cared. Did we make all three subs? No, we didn't. Okay. Um, but 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 who's looking a bit knackered? Uh, Dowler kind of is. Although Kenyatta also looks kind of knackered. We've not really got anyone else that can play there at the moment because Rakowski's already on the pitch. So I think we're going to replace Dowler because we kind of need that um, ball-winning midfielder area to be... I think it's a ball-winning midfielder. If they fucking score now, I'll be so pissed off. We've been definitely the better side in this game. 21 shots, 11 on target, 3 goals. Deserved all three of them. Just don't let some silly goal in now. Come on. Oh, come on. That's Why are we not winning the ball in these areas? Don't let them drag you about. That's it. Well done. Dabba. Clear to the left wing. Oh, it's too late. That's a really poor clearance as well. And there's going to be a huge gap there. But 12 minutes to go. Hopefully, we're not going to concede a stupid goal now. Um, because we've got ourselves right back into this game. We've turned it from 2-0 down to being 3-2 up. Thoroughly deserving every single goal we've got in this game. No, no, no. Oh, no. Definitely no. That's a clear-cut chance, is it? Oh, dear. There's some Fernando Torres finishing there. Right, we're a goal up here, and I'm probably just going to um, throw it on contain and tell him to waste some time because I don't want to get this game snatched away from us now when we've played so well. We'll just go on contain, use the same tactics, just don't let them through you. They've not been particularly great in front of goal, apart from the, well, they've scored twice against us. So I guess our defence has not exactly held up to that much scrutiny today, but it was just those early goals that they scored. Really did catch us by surprise, and we're hoping that we can hang on and get a 3-2 win in this live because that'd be three wins out of four this month. And that one unlucky game against Sandhausen in there, and it seems that it's doing that weird tactical thing again where it seems to take ages for some reason. It seems to only do it when it's late in the game, sort of like between sort of 70 and 80 minutes. like No, more like 75 and 80. If you try to make a tactical change there, it seems to take ages sometimes. Right, come on. Four minutes added time. Oh, come on. No Fergie time, please. Go oh, dear. Oh, dear. Two minutes left on the clock here. We're going to get... See, we're going to score. Oh, Hausenberg. Go on, son. Drops into Rakowski. Go on. 4-2 would be awesome here. That'd be quite a turnaround. Oh, into the channel. The court. Long range effort, perhaps. Off the crossbar. Oh, it's in. <laughs> nice. Um, unlucky for clanged. Do you reckon in the German newspapers they would make some terrible pun about how he'd let in a clangder? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave now. That was terrible. That's so unlucky. That looked like it hit nothing again. I hate that. We conceded a few goals like that last year where it seems to hit nothing. It doesn't even hit the goalkeeper, but it goes in. But that is St. Pauli 4, Frankfurt 2. That is quite the turnaround. I'm glad I made those tactical changes. It was like some actual decent management for once. We've had a lot of shots today and we've deserved at least, you know, the goals that we've scored. Maybe didn't deserve to concede as many. Um, like 3-1 would have been perhaps a fairer score, but 4-2 is kind of essentially just 3-1 with more goals. So more entertaining for the fans anyway. 30 seconds to go here at the middle until we are going to win this one, and that is going to be, well, four, three wins out of four, pushes us up into second in the league, and I actually think that it's going to give us a real good chance going into December to get a few more games together. I think there's only three games in December, so there's two games plus our live com. Um, so it'll be quite a short month, but if we can win a couple of those as well, who knows, we could maybe be topped by Christmas, and suddenly, what problems? Those problems we had earlier in the season? What problems? Good stuff. Right, that is a win for St. Pauli. Again, let's just tell them that they did a good job. Very, very pleased with that. Up into second. Yeah, okay, Bochum have two games in hand on us, and they probably will win both of them. But it's nice to just know what it feels like to be top of the league. Uh, well, not top of the league, but nearly top of the league, and that's as good as we're going to get for now. So there we are, in second spot. If we can stay there for the rest of the season, then we will go back to the Bundesliga. I don't sense that we're going to be able to do that. I, I don't know. I feel like we're going to be in the battle all season long, basically, and that it could come down to simply if we can be... If we can turn some of those poor results into better results, basically, and continue to be consistent in the games we are playing well in. We just need to win the games that we play well in, and I think that would be enough to get us at least third. And I fancy myself in a playoff against the 16th place team in Freiburg. And if you recall, we absolutely hammered them 4-1 uh, on the last day of last season. And look at that, HSV are down there too. But then I said this last year, I said, well, maybe we could end up in a playoff against them. And Augsburg is second. And uh, Red Bull Leipzig are fifth. That's crazy. They've just been flying. Um, 
But we still finished ahead of them in our first season with St. Pauli, and they had all the money. So, yeah. And so, yeah, that is that, guys. Um, if you guys would like what we've seen, please feel free to leave a like on the episode. And if you'd like to even more than that, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff every day in your inbox at half five for St. Pauli and eight o'clock for Portsmouth. Um, I think since it's Thursday, later today, there is going to be a kit making tutorial going up which I've been working on um, because some people wanted to know how to import them but I decided to do a tutorial on how to firstly actually make the kits and import them which is again uh, I'm sorry it has taken so long to go out the rendering and all that kind of crap has been so irritating it's unreal like I had to edit it and render it and it took four hours to render for some reason um, like I had to do it three times because there was stuff missing and unfortunately I left like uh, if you're wondering why when you watch it there's bits that are blurred out it's because i accidentally left some important documents on my desktop and i couldn't like there was like serial numbers and stuff in the tiles so i couldn't have those going out so i've had to blur stuff out and i didn't do that so i had to redo it there was one bit of no sound it's a pain in the ass but and my mic screwed up a part of it too so point is it is now ready and it is going to be coming out later tonight probably about nine o'clock so if you're interested in making kits um i want to see how you do it step in and have a little watch of the video and it tells you how to import them too and it could you can use that same logic to apply for logos or stadiums or just about anything really so enjoy that yeah so anyway babbling on here if you like what you've seen please feel free to leave a like on the episode if you like to even more than that live an ep uh liver liver rebib liver rebib on the series and i will see you guys in the next episode Bye bye